we are going to discuss our query number four. Here is the query for us. Find all employees in the database who live in the same cities as the companies for which they work. You should read the query again yourself. The thing is that there is one employee. Let us say Karim. He is living in a city, say Delhi. There is one company, say AOL, having got a branch office at Delhi. Say, I am just considering one case. But Karim is not working at AOL. Then the Karim's name will not be coming in the output. So remember this one. Okay, now, so at first we shall have to find out that what are the tables required for this query execution. So one table I require that is our employee because it is containing the respective city in which they are residing. I require one table that is works, that is works. Here it has been denoted that which employee is working in which company. Also I should be dealing with this table that is our company because here we have written, we have written that against the company name in which, in which city the company is having their offices. Okay, so I require to access this employee table, this works table and also the company table. So here is the query for us, select distinct employee name, here I have written employee dot employee name because employee name is common in employee as well as in works. So that is why select distinct employee dot employee name that means each and every employee name will come once in the output from employee comma company comma works. So here we have taken three tables, so the Cartesian product will be done in between these three where employee dot city is equal to company dot city because here in between company and employee only one attribute is common that is a city and works dot company name is equal to company dot company name because in between this works and company we are having this company name common and in between this works and employee we are having this employee name common so and works dot employee name is equal to employee dot employee name. So if you execute this query then we are getting only those employee names who are residing to that very city in which one company is there and in that very company the employee is working. So as an output I shall be getting this Korim, Pranob, Selim and Shayon. So now let me go for the first one that is the Karim. So for the Karim we are having this Mumbai, Mum here we are having this. Okay, Karim is working at Shottam. And Shottam is having one branch of it at Mumbai. Okay, now let us go for the next one that is a pronoun. So pronoun is uh, residing at Calcutta, Cal. So now if we come to this pronoun, he is working at Awell. Awell is having one office at Cal. Next we are having this one that is our Selim and Shion. So if you go for Selim that is Dell, Shion is Cal. So Selim is working at Shottam, Shion at Awell. Awell is having one office at Cal and Shottam is having one office at Dell. So in this way, these four names are coming. You can write this same query using nested subqueries to reduce the query complexity. I am leaving this one for your homework. Try to write the same query using nested subqueries and try to get this uh, output same whatever we have got here. Thanks for watching this video.